really a battleship movie. What's next? A clue film? Point taken. The Dictator. The heroic story of a dictator who risks his life to ensure that democracy would never come to the country he so lovingly oppress. The movie stars everyone's favorite wacky comedian, Sasha Barra Cohen, Ben Kingsley, and everyone who was in the first 30 minutes of Iron Man. Audience, this movie is vulgar, offensive, and lowbrow and I loved it. Needless to say, I did like, but not love. The problem is, Cohen seems to try a little too hard in this film, and some lines seem forced specifically for shock value, and they fall flat. With that said, this movie is not for children. Also, not for old people. Oh, and no hippies, poor favor. If you haven't seen any of Cohen's movies and are easily offended, you should skip this one at all costs. There are jokes against everyone in this film. Women, current affairs, and different religions and countries, including America. And Uncle Sam will not stand for that. My uncle named Sam. One little thing to add is some of what you see in the trailer isn't in the film, so be prepared and take two Advil. The good parts of this movie has to be the dialogue and banter between Cohen and Jason Mansukis. Did I say that right? They both play well off each other and leave you in stitches and strangely bruises. Other parts of the movie includes Cohen's crass jokes and having more off-color humor than a dog playing Twister. Not that dog. Overall, this movie is offensively funny, strangely hairy, and pushes the envelope if the postal service was still running. I'd give this film two and a half showers, cause that's what you'll need after watching this. Stay tuned to see my review of the Christian version of the Avengers, The Evangelists. Wait.